Right, everyone. Well, as you can see, I'm not wearing a Tomcat hat today. I've had a bit of a bit of a trim, a nice little shave last night, because today is Friday, and I've uh, got to have my photographs taken today because next week, Monday. I've got to redo my gas. Oh my word. It's that five year time that every gas engineer in the UK dreads because we have to redo our qualification. So, this video is going to be my little journey in what gas engineers have to go through every five years when they renew their gas. So, my name is Derek Robbins for Tomcat Gas Training with a lovely little shiny head. So, let's get on with it and get on with this video. But first, I've got to take the brown butt out as usual. So, the first job before I uh, get to the centre is, like I say, going to have these pictures taken. So there's uh, Asda right near the training centre where they've got one of them photo booths. So uh, let's go and get my pictures taken. pictures will make me look like a grumpy old man six quid are they having a laugh my word do you want to email it for free no thank you oh my word six quid anyway <laughs> that's my four uh, pictures done I look like a very grumpy lopsided old man with sticky out big ears and that's going to be on my gas safe card for the next five years. My word. But they don't do a preview thing now or anything like that. They just go, your picture looks good and print it out. Thanks very much. Anyway, let's get to work now. Now, this is the stuff on the table here. What I've got to remember to take with me. So, taking some training manuals with me. So natural gas and LPG. I've got my uh, unvented certificate and water egg certificate. I probably I don't need that, but I'll probably have to do it again anyway. And I've got my uh, uh, LPG and natural gas certificate and my lovely photographs. So all I've got to do is remember to take all that with me tonight. Morning. Monday's arrived. So. Off to day to M65 gas to do my uh, ACS, my LPG, uh, my unvented. So I've got this week to get these qualifications over and done with. I'm incognito, no Tomcat stuff today. The reason why I picked M65 gas is I don't know any of the trainers, I don't know any of the staff, I don't know anybody at M65 gas. They're about an hour away from me. So uh, 25 past seven, 
So I should get there about 25 past eight, hopefully, half past eight. So let's get the day started. And uh, hopefully I don't make a complete fool of myself. I hate these five years. Oh yeah, no Tomcat van today neither. <laughs> so, let's get on with it. So I've arrived at M65 gas. Well, it's actually just over there behind me. Um, not easy to find. Sat nav took me the wrong way. But anyway, I'm here. So, got my bag of stuff. Let's get and find out what's happening. So it's uh, quarter past four, and I'm just on my way back now from my first day's training. So I've done a day's training just basically to see what they do. They have a different accreditation uh, company to us at uh, M65. So I just wanted to see, you know, what their training and whether our training can be improved or whether our training's better than theirs. So that was the reason why I've sacrificed a day doing training. Um, but I would always buy, advise engineers to take whatever training is available for you from whichever centre you go to. So uh, I'm going to start by doing my exams tomorrow. So I've got my um, LPG to do as well. So whether I'm going to do all my LPG exams and my NAT gas exams and my MET 1 exams, I don't know. But uh, that's what I've got tomorrow. So, nice little leisurely drive now, and hopefully there's no traffic. Uh, home for tea. So, catch you tomorrow, guys. See you later. Now, this is my gas safe card. I can show you all the numbers on this because this expired in March. So, this is my old gas safe card, not my current one. As you can see on my gas safe card, there is a lovely photograph there of me. And... Uh, the pictures I've just had done, they're the ones that are going to replace that one. So I don't look as grumpy and as old on that one. Can we not keep that? Anyway, what I'm here to do is to show you the back. And on the back of this gas safe card, it tells me, or tells my customers, what I'm qualified to do. And it says, I am qualified to do combustion analysis. And that is using a flue gas analyzer and I can use it on natural gas and LPG. Cookers, I can work on cookers on LPG and natural gas. I can also work on fires on uh, natural gas, LP LPG. And LPG stands for liquid petroleum gas, if you didn't know. Uh, I can do boilers on both of them. I can also do meters, and meters is my MET1. So when I talk about MET1, it's my meters qualification. So that means I can install and move meters. Uh, range cookers, so I can do all the ranges of cookers. Um, and I can also do unvented and vented cylinders. And I've also got my um, unvented certificate, my G3, which is all on the back of the gas safe card. I'm gonna be redoing all those qualifications. I'm also gonna be doing a few others because we're gonna try and extend the scope here at Tomcat. So I'm going to be doing Whitney fires which is a special fire for a caravan. I'm also going to be doing residential park homes and permanent dwellings which I've already got and I'm going to be doing LAV which is uh, mobile vehicles you know like camper vans and stuff like that. So I'm going to add a few more onto my card just because we want to up the scope. 
So when you hear me talking about codes, that's what I'm talking about and that's what I'm going to be redoing today, well this week. Now every gas engineer has to redo these qualifications every five years and every gas engineer has to have a new card every year. So he's gas safe card every year. So if you're a customer and you want somebody to do work in your property and you want them to work on gas, whether it's natural gas or LPG, make sure you look at the card on the front, but the important bit is the back because that tells you what they are qualified to work on. Let's go back to the video. Morning everyone. Another very, very horrible, miserable morning. Absolutely soaked walking the dog this morning. Anyway, day two of my adventure to M65 gas to do my gas qualifications. So today I have exams, like I said, but I have no clue how many we have to do. Now, when guys come to us for reassessment, they do two multiple choice exams, and then they do three parts of what we call the PAWS book. PAWS stands for Practical Assessment Work Scenarios. So you kind of look at pictures and make a decision on pictures and Please statements. Turn next left. Yeah, so uh, where was I? Yeah, so these, this pause, this practical assessment work scenarios, you look at pictures and um, read statements and make a decision and stuff like that and write it into this workbook. So that's the theory side at our place. Now, I do know they do pause here at M65 Gas, um, but it didn't really tell me how many uh, multi-guess exams we've got to do. So uh, yeah, that'll be interesting. And then I've got to try and get my practical done this afternoon, hopefully. And then I can get my LPG done tomorrow and hopefully slip in my uh, unvented as well. Or maybe I might do my unvented today. So I might even get a couple of days off. All depends how quick I am. So, Saturday two, you know, let's just get on with it. So I just pulled up. That was a hairy drive. Weather today, it's supposed to be warm, but it's absolutely chucking it down. And it was horrendous driving on the motorway. Conditions you could see only about 20 foot in front of you and people were still passing me doing about 110 mile an hour what is that all about and then they wonder why there's a crash people in this northwest cannot drive on motorways when it's raining right up the backside of other cars doing stupid ridiculous speeds oh my word anyway rant over drive carefully in the rain guys it's dangerous. So, it's just behind me M65, so let's get in there and let's get these exams over and done with. Come on then. So, it's your bang on four o'clock. That's me done for day two. So what I've done so far, I did, well, I did start my theory exams to be fair. I did all my practical, so I did my Appliances, my my CCM1, my appliances, MET1, and I did all my LPG, and I did my, um, yeah, Whitney Fires. So I've done, got all that done. So all my practicals done. And I've started what's called the pause book, which is practical work assessment scenarios. Like I said, I've done that. So tomorrow, I've just got my multi guests to do. But I've got some fans in there. I've had, uh, been mobbed this, this afternoon. And a load of uh, guys who recognised me from YouTube. Um, so we've had pictures and I'll put them on the video because I liked them. They're really nice guys. So, so far, M65 is like Tomcat. It's an amazing training centre. Steve, who was assessing me today, top bloke. So shout out for Steve because uh, he is top bloke. Really, really good assessor. I enjoyed it. So I've actually enjoyed doing this 
um, reassessment so far. So practical, a breeze, done my pause, got that done, just got to get my multi guest done. So obviously if you live in our area, you need to come to Tomcat, but if you live over this side, M65, you need to come to M65 gas to do your gas because it is a really, really good training centre. So get home now and uh, chill out. So I'll see you tomorrow. Now, what you're expecting in this ACS assessment? Well, whether you're initial or whether you're a reassessment guy, we're going to be looking at the exams first and these are the exam subjects you're going to have to learn. It's pretty much what you trained. So you're going to have to answer questions on gas legislation and regulations. One of the biggest ones you're going to have to answer questions on is chimney systems, including shared flu systems now, which has become quite big in the questions. Um, you're going to have to look at pipe work, installation, tightness testing, purging. You're going to have to work out purge volumes and you're also going to have to work out pipe sizing. So you're going to need to know how to work out these purge volumes and to do the pipe work calculations because you physically have to do them. We've also got to look at combustion. We've got to look at controls and another biggie is ventilation. So they're kind of your theory exams. So here at Tomcat we do six theory exams if you're an initial assessment and you do two theory exams if you're reassessment. At M65 I think I did six or five. Did that many I don't know. For my natural gas and I did five or six for my LPG as well. So that's on the theory side. Now on the pause the practical assessment work scenario uh, at M65 I just did one book which was all over the place and had loads of different um, questions on basically what we just talked about. Now here for our pause they're in sections so there's one on unsafe situations, there's one on pipe work and flues, there's one on controls, uh, there's one on ventilation and oh, chimney systems. <laughs> so that's our pause. So that's what you're expected to know for the theory side. Pretty much everything you trained on. Now for the practical, if you're a reassessment guy, you're basically going in and looking in the bays as if you were doing a landlord report. You're not stripping, you're not servicing, you're not taking everything apart, you're just carrying out a landlord's report, you're carrying out your tests, the regulations, 26.9 of the gas safe installation and use regulations, 1998, amended in 2018. And that's what you're doing as a, a, a reassessment. As an initial assessment, it's slightly different. You actually need to install a few parts of the appliances. You need to fully commission the appliances as if you've just installed them. So that's the major differences between initial and the reassessment. Now, time-wise, reassessment guys should be done and dusted with a day's training within three days. There's no need for a, a reassessment guy to be taking longer than that. Um, for initial guys, it takes a week. So you're in the center for a full week, covering all the exams, covering all the practical. The exams are timed. The practical, it's all timed. So it's it's not a, a come in and spend all day doing one part of it. No, it, they are timed exams. So that's what you're supposed to be uh, doing when you come in and do your ACS reassessment or your initial assessment. I hope that helps. I've got two fans. Say hello, guys. Hello. What's your names? Asif Dalal. There you go. With the man himself, the best. Spotted me, the spotted me straight away, yeah, this guy. A, <laughs> straight away. Celebrity, celebrity. Come, come in, come in. Spotted me straight away. Yeah, I did. Cheers, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Morning, everyone. It's another miserable, wet, horrible day. But it's day three of my trip to M65 gas to do my ACS assessment and hopefully it's my final day doing exams and I don't have to go on Thursday hopefully not 
I've got no clue how many I've got to do today, but I've got to do all my Nat Gas ones and my LPG and my unvented stuff. Let's uh, get on with the video then and get back to M65 and get this day over. I hope I don't make myself like an idiot again. See you later. What a strange drive again this morning. I'm so glad I don't have to do commuting. I'm glad it only takes me 10 minutes to get to my centre every day. Set off in absolutely chucking it down rain to end up beautiful clear blue skies and sunshine. So that was a bit weird. And also a nice little shout out to the lady who came through the traffic lights on red at the roundabout, got in the wrong lane and then had the cheek to bid me and then make some really weird hand gestures as if she was shaking some coffee beans. So yeah, nice shout out to you this morning, lady. It was a pleasure meeting you. Anyway, I need to get into uh, M65 now because uh, it's Wednesday and I need to get my video live. So part two of um, how to do a landlord report. So I better get in there, get a brew and get that out and um, and get crack on on with these exams. So I'll check back with you when I've finished and I'll uh, sum up and tell you what I think of uh, coming to M65 to do your reassessment and kind of put any guys who are doing their first reassessment to ease when they come to Tomcat or when they come to M65 gas. So. Come on, let's get on with it. Oh, my word. And that's the end of that. What time is it? Half past four. Half past four on the third day. So I've just done all my theory for the uh, CCM1 appliances, done all that. I've done all my LPG exams um, and I've done my unvented. And I'm worn out now, and I proper feel for the guys who have to do this, because <laughs> it's not easy. So, how do I sum up M65 gas? Great centre. Oh, can't, can't, the, the guys working at that centre are like our guys at Tomcat, amazing guys. Eat, sleep, drink gas. Two Darrens. Um, Young Brad, I think, yeah, Brad is he called? Young lad doing the invigilating. Find out he plays for Hyde United. The ground's just literally five minutes walk from my house. So yeah, it's a small world, isn't it? And then Steve, who assessed me, and I think he was called Terry, the guy who, who did the training. Great bunch of guys who have met here at M65 Gas. So I'm glad it's over for another five years. <laughs> You can't believe it, can you? Do it for a living. And still, you still put yourself under that pressure that you've got to get it sorted. But advice, guys. Read the questions twice. And I tell this to my guys all the time when they're under assessment. Read the questions twice and you won't make any mistakes. I must have made four or five mistakes by not reading the question twice. And also, for some reason, I put two crosses in the wrong box. What's that all about? Anyway... All over, all done, going home now and chilling out because I need to. That's uh, doing all that in two days, basically. It's a lot, but it's over and done with and I can go home and relax. So, if you've liked this video, why don't you give me that thumbs up or leave a constructive comment down below. I know a lot of you guys from N65, your trainees watch my video, so put your name down below in the comment section down below and put M65 gas next to it, and I know it's you. <laughs> uh, if you're not subscribed to my channel, then please subscribe because it helps. And don't forget to hit that notification bell because we release videos mainly Mondays and Wednesdays. All I've got left to say is thanks for listening and thanks for watching. 
And thanks to all the guys at M65 and the trainees who I've been speaking to over the last three days. Cheers, guys. Fans, say hello, guys. Hello. What's your names? Asif. Bilal. There you go.